and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Noxus Elusives. This deck was really fun to play whenever we played it last time, and it's a tricky one. You're going to play some really close games, but there's no champions in here, so this is a great budget deck. Um, you know, with being with being no champions, and it's really strong. It has a lot of really cool uh, lines you can you can use. You know, with uh, ways to recall your allies with Navori Conspirator, Retreat, Solitary Monk can recall all of your allies. And that's important. Like that that stuff works really well with Imperial Demolitionist. So you can have like Imperial Demolitionist. You can like play it, do two to them, pick it back up, replay it, pick it back up, replay it, like that kind of stuff um, over and over. And especially if you have a Crimson Disciple. Um, you know, you start doing damage to, the, to their Nexus with your Crimson Disciple. Maybe your Disciple turns into a 2-1, so you need to pick it up also. So you use the Solitary Monk, pick them both back up, reset your Crimson Disciple, and so on. And of course, being able to uh, pick things back up and replay them is also good for your Green Glade duo. Pumping this thing up. Just a bunch of cool little tricks that you can do with this deck, and it was a fun one to play. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. So we're going to go play five games over in ranked like we always do. And to finish out our uh, Ionia day. We played all Ionia decks today, and they've all been fun to play. As you can see, we've been kind of running, uh, kind of right around 500. Um, you know, Ionia decks usually have uh, a lot of decisions to make, and some of these... Some of these games, if I would have been making some different decisions, would have been doing it better. But, um, you know, fun, interesting, back and forth games. All right, going to get rid of the two transfusions. Maybe I keep one transfusion. Kind of want to get rid of Shadow Assassin. I want to play Monk on turn three. I don't know, Shadow Assassin's a little slow. Well, I'm jealous. I like their start quite a bit. Double Omen Hawk. That is pretty awesome. Hmm. All right, so I got four of my cards. definitely could have just simply done that like after attacking right like they didn't need to use that warning shot if like that was their plan anyway Hang on, hey. the order rewards its faithful. Hey, Krabby. that's my resting face well shadow assassin's a good one to steal Yeah, presumably they block there, take six, down to 12. Oh no, they're blocking over here. Gonna have everything be one health. Okay. I'm fine with that. Don't really need to block with those things anyway. I think this is worth it. I think it's okay to have the Solitary Monk at 2 health. 
All right, so they're at 11. The Yordle here with me. Safety will cost you. So this is six, seven, eight, nine. Should just be dead. I don't know what they're doing with one mana. I'm going this route because I, I want to be able to have transfusion available to be able to protect any of these. Where we could do the one damage to the demolitionist and then and protect anything. It should just be dead. N uh. Question is, do you think that going three solitary, or sorry, three precious pet than two solitary monk would be better? Honestly, not. I think solitary monk is a, is a really good card in this deck. I could see going a third of precious pet over something else, though. I don't know exactly what. Um, it would kind of be nice to have a sixth one drop. It, it that is something that's kind of problematic is not having enough one drops. Um. I think I'd rather probably put it over like a... I don't know if I'd want to put it over a Shadow Assassin. Maybe over a Retreat or a Noxion Fervor or a Transfusion or a Decimate um, or a Will of Iron. Basically, it'd probably be over a spell. Like all of those spells, you can have one less of any of those spells and your life is still just fine. So if there's any of the spells that you don't like as much, you, you could take out one of those for another one drop if you want another one drop. This is good against Swain. Also, I should be mulliganing the Crimson Disciple, also. Yeah, now I wish I did. I honestly, I personally like Twin Disciplines a lot. I, I like Twin Disciplines more than a lot of those other cards. Myself. I gotta be worried about Make It Rain, as far as like just going real wide with elusives. I do have to be worried about Make It Rain. Especially with this thing. This is not a good trade for me. So why am I making it? Making it because it's it's better than having Shadow Assassin trade with a third of a Make It Rain. Um, and the Shadow Assassin can kind of get, I don't know. I mean, it's not bad to pick up. I mean, it, it just kind of costs a little bit of mana, but it's a good card to pick up. All right, we won't, we won't make it. So normally we'd be going like the Green Glade duos right now, right? But make it rain kind of means I need to play the Crimson Disciples instead. Alright, so with them playing the Grifter, and then we get the duo. Heavy pockets, huh? 
I would not take out Precious Pet to add Zed. If you want to add Zed, you could replace some number of Solitary Monk for Zed. Um, I don't think take... I think that it's already playing the bare number of one drops really that it should have anyway. Everybody likes our cards. They're trying to take them. So I do need to be worried about Twisted Fate red card. As far as Green Glade duos are concerned. It's kind of weird how we just have no spells at all. I talked about how you could replace a spell, but we've drawn we've drawn none. Fifteen in the deck. We did put one Will of Ionia back. We haven't drawn any of the other fourteen. Basically kind of have these things out to make a Twisted Fate red card or make a rain make those cards worse for my opponent. I think I'm just blocking Yordle Grifter with the 2 1. Alright, got a twin disciplines. Lead us to victory, Grand General. Grand General. Don't have any good plays. Everything's better with company. Says you. Sage of perish. Boys, leave them not. Uh, they've stolen a lot of cards from me. I don't, I don't know exactly how many. It's been a lot.
right, there should be game, because this levels up. This levels up Swain, and so then now twi now warning shot. Uh, yeah, I mean, this should just be game. Now warning shot stuns. No, I need to play less and just I need to play solitary monk a lot earlier. I need to play it on turn three. That's what I need to do. I can't play anything else first because I play other stuff first. They just start um, stunning things. I guess technically they'd be stunning the Crimson Disciples, so maybe I could have... Well, no, because if I play stuff, then then this turns into a 3-1, so they stun this thing. Ravenous Flock. I don't want to target the one that's stunned. I mean, I have a chance. If, if they have no removal, I guess I have a chance now that, that we actually got to hit them. This Imperial Demolitionist was the perfect draw. Because, like, we could put them down to two with this and then pick it back up and then reuse it. No, they have removal, though. <clears throat> if they had no damage source, we had a chance. All right, one and one. GG's. They had a good hand. Yuck. So I, I really want elusives. Um, in this matchup. They're gonna be on the ground. I want my elusives in the air. All right, this will do. This will do. Hang on, hey. Good, no Vile Feast. <laughs> yep, that final warning shot to the heart. trade there with the duo. I feel like duo is more important, more valuable. For the Empire. So doing this pre-combat, be able to pump up the duo. Come closer. I don't bite. War Mason, reporting for duty. Escapes my They're down to six. And we just pick stuff up, do it again. Everyone's a god.
for the homestead. You won't suffer long. Guess if they all have to. Still feeling just fine. The order rewards its faithful. Oh man, so many ways to win here. No way. I think we try attacking first. All right, down to two. And burst speed at two damage. Two and one. Yeah, there's so many things that we could have done to win that. I did want to set up the burst speed with Crimson Disciple. So that's good. All right, two and one. Now playing against a deck with a ton of lifesteal. This deck is is good against aggro, the one that we're playing against. So this could be a difficult matchup for sure. Um, Noxia Fervor and Will of Ionia are both per perfectly reasonable spells. Like this is great against, like, grasp, like they try to grasp the undying and we respond with Fervor, like that's great. Will of Ionia bouncing Thresh is pretty great. Um, I'll keep both of these. Hopefully we draw one drop. We haven't been doing a good job of drawing one drops. No. Horny Toad. Card's annoying. Alone, you see things as they truly are. So I could play something, but then I would have just picked it back up. Um, I like having the spell mana. Probably gonna have to do like 40 damage. Sure. <laughs> Something ridiculous like that. Probably a lifesteal. Maybe maybe 30 damage. Let none disturb my meditation. Why is Withering Whale a card? That's my first question. Everything's better with company. Says you.
Attack for 10. No. Why is that a card? See you, Thresh. No. All right, I guess Thresh stays. We probably don't have another Withering Whale, right? Sure, hope, hope they don't. Ooh, that's good. Get some protection, that's good. No other withering whale, no other withering whale, please. on that thing. It's tempting to just let that happen. Yeah. I think we do. I don't want a vile feast. I don't want a vile feast killing one of these things. I want to save this. Just in case. It's just too risky with of going with the plus three because of vile feast. Just cast like ruination. That would be prob. That'd be a problem. Could go to five. <laughs> Why are you listening? Okay, they got rid of a, a withering whale. So we do know two withering whales are gone. All right, come on, draw something that does some damage. No, I needed that card previously. Oh no, are we gonna lose this now? Three spells in a row. Doesn't look good, I know, where's our warning shot? Where's our warning shot? Legion Grenadier. All right, Crimson Disciple. That's something. That's something. Ours is the will of Ionia. Do I just pass to when I'm attacking? No, this is 
so close. <clears throat> Thorny Toad. So we're trying. Hoping this works. No removal. What happened? Only one of those, one of these two twin disciplines was a transfusion. You know, like transfusion would be burst, speed, finish the game. I guess I should have done this one first because if they go glint, if they go grasp the undying, I guess if they have grasp the undying, I'm just dead. It doesn't matter. I mean, I, they would grasp the undying the first one. Grasp the undying the first one. No. So yeah, I'm just dead. They had the best card they could have a couple of times in a row there. With the Ruination being the best card they could have. And then of course Karma, best card they could have after that. And then Grass the Undying. Will. our best. So I could have put it on the other one and they would be at one and then I'd have nothing left. But I'm going this way, keeping keeping the Crimson Disciples so that if we would draw... You know, it's just good, good to have that. I mean, to draw like Demolitionist or something or... Hey, Srammy. Yes, let's go. Infinite Shadow Assassins. Let's go, Infinite Shadow Assassin. Yeah, Noxion Fervor would be good. I would not mind an auction fervor. Hopefully it's just a bunch of garbage spells. <laughs> It's 
So in case it is Withering Whale, at least we have Crimson Disciple to do four damage to them. Come on, Shadow Assassin. If it is Withering Whale, I'm I'm dead. Probably. No. No. Don't play stuff. Don't play anything. Stun and... Vengeance kill their toad. So they go vengeance, kill the toad, so they get another 3-2, I guess. Oh, that's right, because the, the Grenadier would do damage before Withering Whale would uh, gain life. These would both do damage first. So they, they've gotten rid of all three Withering Whales now. They just burned another one. So unless they generated a Withering Whale with Karma. This one's seen three. This one's seen one. As far as those go. So yeah, I guess I should have just attacked with the Legion Grenadier the previous turn. That's their second grasp of the Undying. Yeah, they, they would have. Yeah, that's true. They would have just blocked the Grenadier and then vengeance to their own thing. But why didn't they just vengeance the Shadow Assassin? Like, they saved two life either way. They'd rather just not have the Toad in play and me have the Shadow Assassin still in play. <clears throat> so they probably have their own Twin Disciplines that's going to kill me. So I'm probably dead. But I've been probably dead for a long time. I've been probably dead for a long time. Well, that doesn't kill me. Again. Come on, Grenadier. Come on, Grenadier. Get him! Attack! No! Need to draw Transfusion. We haven't seen a Transfusion, have we? Come on, Transfusion! Boom! Nailed it. That's the card. That's the card. We'll bring peace to my own, whatever the cost. That that was great. Three and one.
We would have lost if they would have concussive palmed first before combat. They didn't. They just went straight to combat. They could have definitely dealt another two points of damage, I feel like. I don't think that we should have won that game. But we did. Because we're great. All right, one, two, three. Not the best three to play after these two, but not the worst either. I guess I don't really want to go Blade Scout on one anyway. Because we don't have the attack token turn one. Okay, cool. We'll play the Precious Pet. <laughs> yeah, we, we reached... Yeah, we reached like round 15 with our aggro deck. And one, that's not a likely scenario. Fortune favors the bold. All right, pick those back up. Take three. Love ya. All right, and certainly hoping they don't have Make It Rain, because if they had Make It Rain, they probably would have cast it the, the previous turn. Safety. Good, no Make It Rain. Quietly. Let's go. Get a lot of damage in here. Never see me 12, put them down to four. And we kind of have four damage here with Grenadier Demolitionist. So that's good. Yeah, so sometimes we win. Sometimes you win turn 15, sometimes you win turn 5. <laughs> GG's. So my opponent just went... Okay, so the opponent just went turn 1 Omen Hawk, like the best thing you can do. Turn 2 Hired Gun, make your thing vulnerable. Turn 3 Misfortune, also awesome. Turn 4 Yordle Grifter. And they were dead turn five. <laughs> and we weren't even attacking turn five. Like, like that's like a that's that's like the dream curve, right? Like that's and they're still dead turn five. Like that just happened. And still turn five that you know they played uh you know warning shot, black market merchant, omen hawk. You know, they, like, they were still doing stuff there, but... <clears throat> yeah, so that was a good curve. I mean, that wasn't no interaction, right? Because they, uh, they had the hired gun to give my threat vulnerable to be able to challenge it. So they, they did have interaction even with that curve. Um, and yeah, they were dead. So yeah, this is definitely a, a pretty sweet tech. You can do a lot of cool things with this deck. It really showed how powerful it was being able to win that game against Karma Thresh on turn 15. And then you could see the power of, you know, Solitary Monk and that kind of stuff. Um, that other game also, that last game. So it's a pretty good deck here. And again, no champions. So uh, definitely real, you know, easier to craft than a lot of things are to craft with no champions. The camera's behind, the camera couldn't, couldn't keep up with those awesome plays. Uh, but yeah, if you if you really want a champion in this deck, Zed and Katarina are probably the ones to kind of be looking at, but I don't know if they're, they actually really improved the deck, to be honest. I don't know. Deck feels pretty good even without them. Um, yeah, can't use my good cards if they're dead. 
So yeah, fun fun deck day to day. All four of these decks were fun. All of them I recommend. Even like how we went two and three with two of the decks. Both of those decks were really fun to play and and just really close games all the way around. But you know some of them didn't go our way. But it, uh, you know like they were two threes that could have been four ones. You know just a couple of different things here or there. Um, so yeah, all four of these decks are definitely ones I recommend and uh, had a good time playing Ionia decks uh, today. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, like always, and please leave those comments too. Let me know how it's going for you with this deck, any of the other decks, you know, these, um, you know, questions, comments, um, all that kind of stuff. I'll uh, answer and, uh, you know, let me know which videos y'all like, uh, all that kind of stuff. But All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Noxus Elusives, and I'll see you for the next video.